Welcome back. A lot of people have had to overcome challenges in life, but one man from Squirrel Hill decided to write a book about it. The book is called Overcoming the Odds, and he's here with us now, the author of the book, Mark Hafner. Thank you for joining Thank us, you, Mark. Thank you, Christine. Appreciate it. Well, what inspired you to write your book, first of all? A good friend of mine, David Hausdorff, said for the longest time, Mark, you need to write your story. And I finally decided to write it so I could tell families and also the parents how their children can overcome obstacles and they can work through these problems together. And it seems like you really do address it from a parent's perspective, how you can use your experiences as a parent to help your own children. Tell me what your advice is based on what your life experiences were. You don't want to let the kids give up. You want to put them in activities where they're going to be successful and you always want to be their advocate. So what brought you to learn that lesson? Tell me about your own experiences. My parents were definitely in my corner my whole life and anything that I needed, they did for me. And I read that it started from the very beginning when you were diagnosed with meningitis, is that right? As a baby, yes. So how did that experience impact um, your development and then, you know, your life, life's path? I would say that my development was a little bit slower than other people. It was recognized, but back when I was growing up, it was harder to figure out what to do with me. So they pushed me in the mainstream and I either sunk or swim. And so what, what do you recommend for parents? You're saying that um, you don't want them to fail, but you want them, or give up, but you want them to succeed. So how do you find that balance between pushing too much or finding something else? Well, my brother was somebody who I always wanted to be like, so I always tried to do what he did. If they have mm -hmm. older siblings, let them go with them. Mm -hmm. If not, put them in different activities. Try as many things as you can until you hit the home run. Neat. Well, I know you're also a tennis instructor, certified instructor, a personal yes. trainer. Mm -hmm. Tell me about how sports are important in life. Sports uh, teach you life lessons. They teach you that even if you're down, you never give up. You want to be a good winner. You want to be a, also a good loser. And it teaches you about teamwork. There is no I in team. Well, you've gone through a lot of challenges. Tell me about some of the other ones that you've been dealing with more recently. Last year, I'm, I'm a hard worker, and I just wasn't feeling right, and I found out that I had bladder cancer. My goodness. And I had surgery, and I went through the treatments, and thank God right now I'm six months uh, cancer-free. Congratulations. And thank then a you. car accident, too, is that right? Back in 95. I, my neck's still not 100% from that. Wow. So what do you take from these challenges that, uh, that you've, you've put in your book? You want to look at the whole picture. You want a small chunk. You want to look for making the end, the goal. If you have some setbacks along the way, so be it. Mm -hmm. What you want to do is go forward with it. And you talk a lot about this in here, and then you also offer your experience as a life coach. Is that right? Yeah, I went to California and went through their training, and I've been working with families and parents and helping the people basically realize their dreams and what they want to do. Well, wonderful. Thank you, Mark, for sharing your story with Thank us you. today and also in the book. And you can read much more. You can look for Mark's book, Overcoming the Odds by Mark Hafner. And it's available in bookstores and online now. And we do also have a link to Mark's Life Coach page on our Pittsburgh Today Live page at kdka.com. Have you ever watched a soap opera and thought, I could do that? Well, here's your big chance. Information on a big casting call for As the World Turns. Plus, we're talking to one of the stars from the soap, Michael Park, who's here in Pittsburgh. And Halloween isn't just for kids. Adults can get into the spirit by trying one.